since I remember mentioning my uh, dagger brushes so much that I got from Rosemary's, I thought I'd um, mention some stuff that I, some conclusions I came to about them and a couple of other brushes, just so everyone will know. Um, they're really good for, you know, drawing lines and then switching over and cutting in spaces. They're really, really expressive. I like them this size. This is a rosemary, as you can see. Um, a 3 8 is about as small as I would go with these. Because if you get any smaller, you wind up with this, which is pretty useless. Um, I think if you're going to go any smaller than that, you're really, really trying to make a line anyway. And that's, I found these silver bristle line. That was rubbed off. This right here. Uh, silver bristle line brushes, the stripers. And they make a really, really clean line. And they hold up really well. I've had these for a while. They actually hold up better than rosemary's, but they're a different brush. I mean, they're more of a, more of a line. Um, as far as regular brushes, I noticed something that I uh, didn't really notice before the way I use the brushes. I, I paint so heavily that if I use anything bigger than about a 10, I think this is a 10, and a flat, a filbert, um, I lay on the paint so heavily that it gets all all in the ferrules and it just ruins the brush. So honestly, I, I'm about to start and just go back to buying nothing but Michaels when I get that big because I'm going to ruin the brush in a couple of months anyway. And they hold up for a month or two, maybe three or four, but it's a waste of time for me to spend money on good brushes that are that size because I just, you know, I mix with them and I, you know, put way too much paint on them, load them way too heavily, and they just wind up getting all clogged and splay out. Um, but yeah, I hope if anybody chooses these dagger brushes, they're really good. I mean, it's not just that I love rosemary stuff. Sometimes they're kind of iffy, but I've had good luck with most of them. Just if you do get the dagger brushes, don't bother getting anything smaller than a 3 8 because the quality really goes down after that point. And it, you know, like I said, I was pretty disappointed to get this, and it's a pretty useless brush. I mean, it's just uh, ugly. It's about the ugliest brush I've ever had. But, uh, yeah, these silver bristle line. I think I, Dick, I either got it from Dick Blix, maybe Jerry's, but I, I can't remember. They're pretty easy to find.